Politics, style, and celebrity often converge in our society with mixed success, but in the case of Lauren Bush Lauren, the blend may be the best of all worlds. As her name implies, she is surrounded by iconic families. Part of the presidential Bush clan, Lauren is a granddaughter of George H. Bush and niece of George W. She's also married to David Lauren, son of designer Ralph Lauren. Famous names aside, Lauren Bush Lauren is an accomplished woman in her own right, graduating from Princeton, then launching a business. As a former model, she created a socially conscious fashion brand aimed at feeding impoverished children around the world. I had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity to sit down with Lauren and talk about her design for giving back. Lauren, given your, your background and your education, you could have gone any number of ways when you got out of college. What made you pursue the charitable aspect? It really came from a very personal, sort of life-changing experience I had of being able to start travel with the UN World Food Program when I was actually a student in college. Um, and through that experience of going on trips around the world, but also kind of learning about some of the issues we face here um, in terms of hunger, I really, I knew something in my life, you know, would be revolved around giving back and, and trying to help solve this problem. Um, I didn't quite know what it was. I, I did graduate actually from college with the idea for the first feed bag, but I hadn't quite envisioned um, the truly, scope that it would yeah, take you. the scope where, where it could truly go and what it could become. What's so interesting, and it's probably due to your time spirit and your age somewhat, is that a lot of people go out into business, they're entrepreneurs, and based on their success, when they get older, maybe as a second act, they get very involved in philanthropy. Mm -hmm. What made you think that you could accomplish it at the same time? You know, it's funny, early on, I you know, had my first bag prototype, and I was trying to get advice from different people, and there were some of the you know, older folks that I spoke to that said, you know, go, yeah, go make money, go get your regular career path going, um, and then give back. And it just, it didn't sit right with me. I felt that for myself and for my, my peers, we wanted to give back and make the world a better place. We didn't want to wait until later. Um, but we didn't have a massive checkbook. We couldn't write a big donation or attend a big gala. So how would we do it? And that's when I thought of the idea for, for feed as that consumer goods way for people to put their you know, consumer dollars into doing something good as well. Now, is your brand kind of uh, dependent upon fellow millennials? Because um, we all know that they purchase or choose not to purchase, sometimes based on their social philosophy. I think so. I really was creating something that I myself as you know, a millennial shopper wanted to, to buy. Um, but definitely, yeah, millennials are sort of our core demographic, if you will. But I would say it's more millennial mindset in some ways. Like many sh shoppers are older and younger. Um, it's truly kind of this movement of conscious consumerism and people saying, you know, gosh, I want a great product at a good price and good quality and all that still stands first and foremost. But if it gives back, it's really the icing on the cake. Can you talk about how Feed developed and what really the mission is and where it is right now? Sure. So I started Feed almost 10 years ago this year, yeah. which is crazy. Um, and the mission is to create good products that help feed the world. So started with just this one Feed One bag, um, which I again conceptualized in college after having traveled uh, to different countries around the world with the World Food Program. And what I was surprised by during my travels is how little um, money goes so far. So each Feed One bag feeds one child in school for one year. So consumers know there's a big one stamped on it. You I know was going to exactly. say, I thought it had that, which made it really cool, the identifier on it about what, what it was doing. Yeah, I think it's just so important to have that transparency. Again, millennials, I think, really gravitate towards that. It's not a percentage of profits or proceeds, which is lovely and wonderful. It's like this product is doing exactly this. Um, so that's where we started, the Feed One bag, and it's kind of grown from there, but the model continues to be the same. Every product we make and sell, there's a number on it, and that signifies the amount of meals you're donating, essentially, through making that purchase. Now, how do you measure success? Because you have so many metrics with what you're trying to do that can add up to success. What's success for you? I know, it's on many different <laughs> levels, if you will. I mean, truly, though, when we can build a better business and build a better brand and sell more products, we can give more meals. Um, so, you know, succeeding in one area helps us succeed in the impact. And you haven't stopped from there. Can you talk about your kindness initiative that you've developed? Oh, we just felt like with everything happening in the world and um, the kind of dialogues happening, uh, it was really time to put out a hopeful message. And cultivate kindness was one we've been talking about internally. And we just felt like, gosh, it's, it's time. 
Yeah. So we've started what we're calling sort of inspiration totes. Um, we actually just two days ago launched another one called Women on a Mission, mm -hmm. um, really celebrating our fellow women on a mission, whether they're moms or philanthropists or news anchors, any, you know, we're all on our own little missions every day. Sometimes people don't realize the personal power that they might have by just taking action. And when you do, it really is so gratifying. It is. And you never know what small thing, like I just had an idea for a burlap bag, <laughs> you know, who would have thought we were almost, um, we're at 95 million meals we've been able to give so far. That's impressive. Through that one burlap bag idea. And that's so, ten, 10 years counting then? 10 years counting. Now, some of these products, um, because you do take a different business model, how do people get them? Are you basically web-based? I mean, because We're people are used to shopping in different ways now. Totally. We are mainly web-based, so feedprojects.com mm -hmm. um, houses all of our products. We're actually just about to launch our first store and cafe in New York, so that's something new for us. I can't help but think, though, that you're still so young, and you've accomplished <laughs> a lot, but there's so much potential in your lives to still grow and change as a person, though. Is mm -hmm. that just all part of the journey? Totally, constantly. I think um, just being an entrepreneur, every day is different, every week is different, every year is different. Um, I've personally grown so much through the experience of starting and, and growing feed and yeah, who knows? I think I've obviously found my personal passion, which is design, it's creating you know, products, creating a brand, but doing it for the, uh, a greater good.